You glance at the clock, and it's six o'clock again. Coincidence? Or could it be a cosmic nudge, a secret signal meant just for you? Welcome to the world of angel numbers. The universe speaks a language of vibrations, and the time six o'clock is its chosen messenger for you. Imagine that each instance of locking eyes with this particular time isn't random. It's a pattern with a purpose, a moment of synchronicity calling out to you. Hi, I'm Sia. In this video, first, we're unraveling the exciting mysteries of why you keep seeing six o'clock on clocks. Then, at the end, we'll intertwine it with your birth numbers to unveil a critical message about your future destiny. More on that later. Let's start. Picture this. The clock strikes six o'clock and something within you stirs, a feeling that this is more than just a moment to note the time. This is synchronicity at play, a concept introduced by the psychologist Carl Jung, which suggests that these repeated occurrences are meaningful coincidences. They're the universe's way of guiding you, like a gentle tap on the shoulder from an unseen guide. Now consider the number six itself, a symbol of balance, harmony, and the nurturing aspects of life in numerology. When this number presents itself to you at such a precise time, it's amplified, echoing a message meant to catch your attention. But what could this be signaling in your life? Is it a call to nurture yourself, to pay attention to your family or relationships, or perhaps a reminder to find balance in your daily hustle? Reflect on this. When you see six o'clock, what's usually on your mind or happening around you? How could these moments be a mirror, reflecting a more profound significance tailored to your innermost thoughts and experiences? Let's thread these observations together, weaving a narrative that connects your journey to the broader symbolism of six o'clock. As dawn and dusk touch the horizon at six o'clock, they do more than herald the commencement and conclusion of the day. In many cultures, these hours are portals of energy, gateways to deeper realms of consciousness. Stroll through history, and you'll find that six has always been significant in the human psyche. The ancient Egyptians revered it, seeing in its symmetry the seeds of creation and life. In Eastern philosophies, six represents harmony and balance, echoing in the six senses, the six energies, and the six seasons observed in traditional calendars. The transition times of 6 a.m. and p.m. have been moments of reverence, fear, and anticipation across different eras and lands. Consider the Western tradition of the Angelus Bell, rung at 6 a.m., noon, and 6 p.m., inviting a pause for prayer and reflection. Or the Chinese golden hour of Renshi at 6 p.m., a time to harmonize with family and settle the spirit. In these slices of time, we glimpse a pattern. Six o'clock consistently marks a shift, a point of inflection in the rhythm of daily life. Now, reflect for a moment on your own experiences. How does your culture view the time of six o'clock? Is it merely a number on the clock, or does it carry the weight of tradition, a marker of something more within your heritage? In the spiritual tapestry of our lives, repeatedly encountering six o'clock is not a stray thread, but a deliberate stitch by the universe. It's a signal, laden with guidance, nudging you towards introspection and possibly change. In the silent language of the cosmos, each instance of noticing six o'clock might be a call to awaken to the present, to the now, urging you to focus on what truly matters, personal growth, relationships, or finding peace within the chaos. Consider this account. A woman, amidst the tumult of her fast-paced life, kept seeing six o'clock. It became her signal to slow down, to savor the moment with her children, to breathe in the day's first light or its last. It was as if the universe was whispering to her, this is life, not in the minutes that rush past, but in these moments of stillness. Take a moment to ponder. When six o'clock catches your eye, how does it resonate with you? Does it seem to occur when you're at a crossroads, seeking reassurance? Or does it appear when life's pace quickens, reminding you to steady your stride? How do these repeated sightings of six o'clock align with the ebbs and flows of your journey? If six o'clock has become a recurring character in the narrative of your days, it's time to engage with it to understand its role in your life's journey. Reflection is the first step. Start by carving out moments of stillness at six o'clock. Whether a.m. or p.m., let this time become a sanctuary for personal contemplation. 
As you watch the clock hands align, ask yourself, what thoughts surface? What feelings emerge? These could be subtle hints from the universe, guiding you toward an area of your life that requires your attention. Please pay close attention. Shortly, I'll show you how to use this with your birth number to reveal a vital message about your life's destiny. To distill the message of six o'clock, incorporate practices like meditation or journaling at this hour. Allow your mind to clear and your hand to write freely, without judgment or direction. Over time, patterns may emerge from these pages, a narrative shaped by the subconscious, influenced by the vibrations of the number six. Be mindful of how the context influences your perception. The tranquility of 6 a.m. brings different insights than the reflective nature of 6 p.m. How does the energy of these hours color your interpretation? Could the serene morning hour speak to new beginnings while the evening signifies closure and reflection? Notice how the time of day shapes the message and let it guide your understanding of the signs you receive. Once the message of six o'clock is more precise, the next phase is integration, aligning your life with the insights it brings. Perhaps it's a prompt to adjust your routines, to invite more harmony and balance into your daily life. It might be an encouragement to foster connections, to focus on the home, or to nurture your well-being. Take small, deliberate steps, start a gratitude practice at six o'clock, or schedule meaningful family time. These actions are your response to the call of six o'clock, a dance with the universe's rhythm. Consider the story of a man whose life was a race against time, always rushing until six o'clock became his anchor. Each sighting became a reminder to slow down, to savor life's simple joys, a shared meal, a walk in nature, the laughter of loved ones. This conscious realignment with the gentle energy of six brought profound shifts in his stress levels and relationships. Now look at your own life. What could this realignment look like for you? Is it an adjustment of priorities, the creation of new habits, or perhaps a rekindling of old passions? Think about the changes, big or small, that could bring your daily existence into resonance with the more profound call of six o'clock. Let the clock's chime be not just a marker of time, but a catalyst for the life you aspire to live. At six o'clock, when you and countless others globally glance at the clock, there's a shared moment of recognition, a collective breath in the time continuum. This collective consciousness, an invisible web connecting human experiences, is amplified during these synchronous times. Remember earlier, I mentioned seeing this number means a critical message about your future is waiting? The next step is to unlock that vital message. You should now click the link in the description below to do that. There, you'll receive a free personalized reading and a free copy of my mini book, Decode Your Destiny. Upon completion, you'll have unveiled your future pathway and elevated your success, spirituality, happiness, and health. You should click the link below now to move with complete conviction in life.